You jumped through one portal, you would uh, fall out from the other one. Assuming gravity is consistent, it's equivalent to assuming two reactor systems with the same reference pressure and temperature, which is not guaranteed unless explicitly designed. And if you put them back to back, it would just feel like you're moving through normal space. Mmm, that would require perfect space-time metric handling. Harder than aligning two reactor coolant loops without turbulence. So any mismatch would cause the equivalent of shear forces through space-time. But what if you pushed one into the other? That's where this is going to break down. Space-time does not behave like flexible little rubber sheets you can shove together. It's a bit like asking, what if I pushed a reactor core into itself? This doesn't make sense. Well, the portal has to go somewhere. Not necessarily. It could cease to have a physical solution, because at this point, your system isn't so well defined anymore. So, as it enters the second one, the vanishing end would start coming out of itself again and again. So this assumes recursive geometry without infinite energy cost. Or you can fold your neutron flux back onto itself without hitting any criticality limit. No, it's going to blow up. <laughs> And if you were halfway through it as it went in, it would break you apart. Ugh. So the real danger, if these things existed, would be tidal forces. The same physics that spaghettifies matter near black holes. Until you became a jumbled mess of body parts. Gruesome, but it would destroy itself long before you could do this. 